Hello everyone, this is Kim Girl once again. I am back with another video. And uh, today I will be opening a big package. So this is uh, a cool thing I got from my mom. So we'll see what that is. And then we will be talking about the beach body. We'll keep talking about prepping for beach season, uh, what to do about that beach body. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, I have a bit better light now. And um, I'm also munching on a kebab roll. Let's, let's have a bite. I'm gonna bite with this yummy kebab roll. Mm -hmm. I'll start by opening this big package. Can you guess? Can you guess what this is? It's um, another pair of Bang & Olufsen headphones and uh, it's a pair of H95s. Uh, I already got in um, a pair of uh, white ones white with the silver uh, they're called the nord nordic ice they always have like a, a color scheme that has some funky name okay these ones are just in a different color okay let's have a look see that everything is there Okay, little cables and things. Um, no, the cables are not in there. The cables are in here. Yes, here are the cables. Okay, so uh, um, I guess we put the box here and we'll take a look at these. So let me see, what is this color called? Black? Yeah, they are black. They always usually have... Um, um, their color scheme has like a funky name. Well, not, not this time. Okay, so this is what they look like. Okay, and uh, left and right. Feels good, feels good. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh no, how do I fold these in again? Um, like this. There we go. And uh, we are going to talk about... Um, that was a good kebab roll, but now we're going to be talking about the beach body once again. Are you beach body ready? No, I bet you're not. On my last video, I talked about how it was time to prep for beach season already now, because now you actually have the time. And uh, if you will start prepping later rather than sooner, then you won't really have time to uh, be ready for the beach or have your body ready for the beach. It's, it's not about uh, stocking up on sunscreen and uh, 
picking out a, a nice sun hat. We're talking about the body here. So, beach body for Gimp Girl versus beach body for you is what I will be calling this video. And uh, what does that mean? Well, um, the beach body for Gimp Girl is going to be very different than what beach body for you is. They mean different things for us. Um, because um, I kind of probably make it look easy. So uh, let's see, I lift some, I uh, eat this kebab roll, and then I look like this. So, um, why can't I just do the same thing as you, Gimp Girl? I eat a kebab roll and um, maybe I like do some running uh, up and down the street and then I can look like you. Well, because you have too much fat on you. You have too much body fat. Right? That's the problem. Um, you haven't put in the work that uh, I have put into this body for many years. So you can't just do what I do and get the same results. I'm actually being honest here. You know, someone is trying to sell you some like slimming product or a diet or a training program is going to tell you that well just do whatever I do and you look like me. Whereas that's of course not true. So you should be happy. I'm being honest here. I'm being honest. So um uh, what do you do then? What do you do? You, uh, you you don't have my body. I, mean, I already have this, so all I have to do is to well, keep lifting. I just uh, work out a bit. I uh, already uh, like eat normally. I don't stuff my face with cheesecake. I uh, eat a lot of vegetables. I eat my proteins and I'll, I'll be fine. That's because I've put years of work into this, so now my body looks the way it does. Okay, for you, well, it's going to be different. So, what do you do? Well, you uh, you can start with the eating, okay? Or rather, you can stop with the eating. Uh, what you get to eat, uh, realistically, from now on, and up until the day you set foot on the beach in a bikini, and if you set foot on the beach in a jacket, it's not going to matter much, will it now? But up until the day you set foot on the beach in a bikini, you are going to have to stick to eating either uh, quark and vegetables, as you got quark for the proteins. Uh, it's also called farmer's cheese. It's a great, great source of protein, uh, very lean. Uh, you can get farmer's cheese with uh, almost no fat in it and uh, stick to only eating the protein part uh, of the quark. So, quark and veggies. That's what you can have. So you have your quark for breakfast, you have your veggies for lunch, you have your quark as a snack, you have your veggies for dinner, and maybe you have the quark as an evening meal. Uh, that's what you get to eat. If you don't like the quark, because uh, I know a lot of people don't just they just don't like quark. Uh, they don't like uh, any kind of quarky products, if you want to put it that way. They, they don't like uh, the cottage cheese. They don't like farmer's cheese. Um, they don't like any kind of protein-rich cheese product. Uh, then you will get to eat oats instead. So, um, have your oats. Oats, you can have as oatmeal, you can have them raw with milk and a little bit of raisin and cinnamon uh, or a bit of raisin and cocoa powder. I tend to use um, these prunes, these dried prunes rather than raisin. I don't like raisin, it's just too sweet for me, so I choose the prunes. A bit, a bit more sour, I like that. Um, so eat that instead of the quark. So then instead of the quark, that's your breakfast and your snack and your evening meal. Um, and you're gonna say, but Gimp Girl, 
um, where is the meat? Um, don't many athletes uh, eat uh, chicken? You know, chicken, lean chicken uh, breast fillet. Uh, well, I would say to that, at, yeah, you can eat chicken if you are me. Okay, if you look like this, or rather, if you are an athlete, yes, then you can eat chicken. You can eat meat. For you. It's going to have to be a vegetarian diet because meat, especially if you have a bit more fat on you, uh, it will uh, make you retain the weight and it will make you uh, retain fluid to some extent. Uh, you're going to be tempted to put uh, quite a bit of salt on uh, the your lean chicken breast fillet because it doesn't taste like anything. So uh, it's not so good for uh, losing weight. So uh, if you want to uh, uh, build some muscle but still lose weight, uh, I would say cut out the meat completely. Right? Just to cut it out of your diet and I speak from experience this is this is experience I'm not making any money off this okay, so just cut out the meat okay so we got the diet solved uh, the other thing you need to do is that you are going to be lifting weights every day you have to lift weights every single day okay if you can't lift that heavy you can lift a bit lighter but do lift every day Preferably, you should start lifting in the morning before breakfast because that will get your metabolism going and it will uh, kind of keep going all day. So, lift every day. So, you're gonna ask me, okay, Gimko, so what, what, what do you do? What, what, what do you do to uh, you know, maintain the beach body? What, what, what do you do? Okay, well, I lift every day. That's what I do. I don't really have problems with the diet. Um, I don't eat like sweet or very fatty stuff anyway, and I just lift every day. That's that's what I do. That's what I try to do. It doesn't always happen, but that should be the goal. Lift every day. Okay, uh, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video about getting ready for beach season. We'll see if I make more videos on this, especially on the lifting. Because I've noticed that whenever I... I, I used to make videos uh, on training and showing uh, myself lifting weights and doing exercises and uh, people just didn't like it. You, know, you, you ladies aren't into lifting, you just aren't. Um, but I'll probably make a video on that too. Okay, so good luck with uh, your beach body journey, ladies. Uh, remember, quark and vegetables or oats and vegetables. Bye-bye!